firstly, the survey shows that those uh, skill shortages that we've identified for years are really stubborn and and are stuck in particular sectors that are really important to our industrial strategy. The second thing it tells us is it's not just all about graduates. That we're, we're getting real shortages of people with level three and level four skills, that's A-levels in the first couple of years of university, which is redolent of the fact that we need to invest more in apprenticeships. The engagement of employers in education to ensure that uh, education really does bridge the gap between uh, schools and work is probably one of the most important issues that, that we're facing and that we have to address. Um, I think the voice of employers needs to be much louder, but equally um, organisations like Pearson um, and uh, other potentially other awarding organisations should be engaging much more, we are engaging much more with employers to ask them how we can work with them to ensure that the kinds of skills that they care about are built into qualifications. Um, and so that's, that's something we're focusing very hard on. We want to work really closely with employers and we want employer voices to count for much more than they've done in the past. When, we, when young people come into the workplace today, they're starting a career that could last for 50 years. Um, it's clear that the technical skills they develop today are going to be absolutely vital for the next decade, maybe two decades. But what they really need is an attitude to work, uh, resilience, an ability to uh, adapt, uh, a willingness to throw themselves into developing the things that will help them stay employed for 50 years, not for 10 or 15. And in that space, that's all about the mindset and the behaviours they bring to the workplace. What can we do to help them? We can help them with work experience, we can help them see the world, because actually, in truth, at the moment, uh, the young people who do well are the people who have good networks. They either have good networks through the school they go to, or through their family, or their friends, or their community. And the young people who do less well are the people who don't have the, those networks. And we need to ensure that everyone is given the opportunity to build up networks that help them understand the way the world works, what businesses look for, how to make a success of themselves, and how to build a career that lasts for 50 years. We've got currently about 300 apprentices and many of those will go on internally uh, also to do a degree. And when people start realising that it is not uh, a dead end, it is, um, it, it is a start point to go from the shop floor to the top floor, and many of our MDs are apprentices, uh, I think that will spread, that word will spread. But it is cultural, it won't change overnight, uh, it is something we need to talk from words and PowerPoint and turn it into deeds. Uh, and I think we're starting to see that happen.